happy Saturday. Shout out to my YouTube family for coming back and clicking on this video. And to anybody new clicked on this video, I thank you as well. And you should stick around. My name is Tamika, also known as Mika. And yeah, let's get into it. Today, this morning, I am finally deep cleaning my couch. I'm about to open up this bad boy, see what the instructions are telling me what I need to do, and then get to cleaning. I shouldn't be this excited to clean, but I really am. Let's get to it. I fall for you every time I try to resist. Taking it away. I'm just bitch feels in the every day. All I wanna hear is an every since I'll be play. Staring next to you. This is what it looks like out of the box and not too big not too small and it's not heavy definitely portable about to read these instructions and these are the like attachments one two three four five Take the flex hole storage bracket and slide the lower plate into the opening on the back of the machine. Make sure the screw holes line up. And slide the lower plate into the opening on the back of the machine. I think that's this. Make sure the screw holes line up. Um, which way am I sliding it? I mean, I guess right here. Looks good to me. Insert screw and tighten with the screwdriver. Goddamn screw in. It's only the second step. I feel like um 
the screw is not in its like grooves and then I'm going against it because it shouldn't be this difficult to screw this in whatever I would like it to be a little more tighter okay step three oh that was step three insert screw and tighten with the screwdriver done four wrap the flex holes around machine ah wrap the flex holes around the machine and place holes grip into bracket turn bracket latch clockwise to lock into place Everything is assembled. Ooh, child. Fill in a clean water tank. Remove the clean water tank by lifting it straight up and then away from the machine. Is that this one or this one? This is solution clean tank. Remove the clean water tank. So I guess it's this one. Because that's the collection of the dirty water. Okay. Remove the clean water tank by lifting it up and then away from the machine. Unscrew the black cap at the bottom of the tank. Add Bissell formula to the formula line. <clears throat> Add one ounce of Bissell boost if desired. Fill with warm water. Do not use boiling water. Do not heat microwave. Do not heat microwave. What? Do not heat water in the microwave. All right, so let's fill this bad boy up with water. Um, oh, okay, so I'm gonna fill the formula up to here. And then put the water up to here. Replace the tank by lining up. All right, let's go put some water in this. Gross! I showered already, thank you very much. Then dip me underway. say to screw this back on but I know it needs to be screwed back on so that's all I'm saying it just says add the formula fill with water do not use boiling water do not heat a microwave then it just says replace the tank by lining up the vertical guides on the left side of the machine with the intent like Bissell you missed the step. If I want to be a jerk, I'd be like, oh, they didn't say to do that. <laughs> That's what I get. <laughs> All right, so I clearly have to do make this quick. So I'm just look, throwing it back in here. Throw that ass back. Throw it in my... Mm, mm. All right, 
now that I filled the clean water tank, getting ready to clean. Before you clean, vacuum to remove loose dirt. Yep, I got my mini vacuum charging. Um, spray any stain pre-tree. No, allow it to sit. No, I don't need to pre-clean. I don't have any stain pre-treatment solution. Anyway, attaching the tool, release the flex holes from the hose, grip, bracket, latch, and unwrap from the machine. Unwind cord and plug into the outlet. Choose your tool and snap on the end of the hose. Ah, all right, so I don't have to use this one. Let me see what other gadgets I got over there. Um, how does this come back out? All right, I'm about to vacuum my couch, change this, and then we can get to started. Let's get this party started. Oh, here it goes. Now, I'm going to start off by just doing like a little section, a little corner to see what I'm working with. stains like but we about to do this first all right all right all right this is loud if y'all can see it but y'all get the picture y'all can kind of see this is the dirty water i don't know what that is or was but i'm about to get that and i'm about to get that mm-hmm thanks again mommy
right y'all so I am done for now these wet spots are where I had the stains and where you know I took the machine and cleaned it and this is not sponsored by this machine whatsoever I just wanted something to clean my couch so as you can see the clean water here dirty water over here I like it like it definitely did what it needed to do I'll know for certain after it dries but for the most part those stains are gone and I'm really just trying to understand like where those stains came from so I'm going to be paying like extra attention because it was just weird like a brown copper stain like I'm I don't know like you guys can see the water like what I don't have any kids it's I'm barely home like it's not like I have a lot of company I don't understand where these stains were coming from but whatever I'm finished now on to my next thing so now let's do the aftercare on my couch y'all just ugh. duckbill gasket is that this remove the duckbill gasket and rinse with water Yes, I am 36 and still ask my parents to buy me things. Mind your business. 